Hopefully you guys had a chance to watch the SpaceX Falcon Heavy launch yesterday. I'm going to go over what happened in the animation versus what happened in reality. Let's see what happened and didn't happen. Kind of answer some questions. I know there's been a lot with this center core. Dude, where's my center core? So we're going to kind of go over that a little bit with this. And I wanted to let you guys know too, if anyone is interested in a chance to race a Tesla semi-truck against me and a bunch of other cool people, definitely go down below. There is a link. You can click on that and you can either order an SX or get solar if you would like. Certainly welcome to. Using my referral code will actually get you free unlimited supercharging and the first person to use it will get $500 off. Down below it will say race the Tesla semi and you put your email there. It'll subscribe you to the Tesla newsletter, but also enter you in a chance to win and potentially race me and a Tesla semi. So it should be a blast. I intend to vlog the whole thing as long as they'll let me. So uh, it should be great. Definitely do that. But I will be at a Falcon Heavy launch later. I have already qualified for that secret level, so I can't thank you guys enough. I will vlog the entire thing, probably live stream too. I don't know, should be an amazing time. But let's get into this video and compare what happened versus what should have happened according to the animation. So I wanna start off with this video clip of the SpaceX Falcon Heavy top to bottom. That is what it looks like. In the bottom left will be the animation that SpaceX released and in the top right will be what exactly happened. Obviously we had liftoff, no explosion on liftoff. Everything looked amazing. So great to see that. So far everything looked really good, exactly like the animation. Then we saw the Falcon Heavy side cores break off beautifully and land on zones 1 and 2 looked beautiful i always get fascinated to see these things land it is ridiculous um the fact that we can do this kind of blows my mind a little bit to see these two land simultaneously like the photo is just amazing of the two hovering so cool so cool so cool and then what we had here is the nose separated and actually shortly after the center core returned to earth yeah we're going to talk about that here in a minute because that's where we have a slight deviation between the two so here you can see the center core is coming back in the animation unfortunately there was not a camera on it for the live feed but this is where things kind of took a turn for the worst So while it was entering, Elon did say it ran out of propellant. Basically, it created a giant missile coming back. Good thing it was a drone ship though, because at least nobody would have gotten hurt. Anyway, it was end up going 300 miles an hour when it supposedly crashed into the ocean right next to the drone ship. That's why everything kind of went all blurry. Elon said they do have the video. Hopefully it didn't just blow up. Uh, I guess we'll kind of see in the next coming day or week. Hopefully we see that video. Uh, it is kind of a bummer that it was a loss. However, Elon did say a couple times that side cores actually have the titaniums on them and landing gear, so those were a little bit more important. So back on track, you can see here we actually had the fairing separate beautifully, exposing Elon's Roadster with Starman in there. Looking amazing with those sweet views. Love the don't panic on the screen. That was a nice little touch. And actually on the dash, there is a little roadster along with a starman and it so hopefully in the coming years it will go around mars and everything unfortunately though we will not be able to see that the battery with the car only was to last 12 hours after launch we're already 12 hours after launch so unfortunately that is all we're gonna see of this but i do have some exciting news spacexstarman.com is actually a domain that i own and it has some cool things coming. If you haven't checked it out, definitely do. Uh, I'll link it up down in the description below, check it out. But we are gonna be tracking it based off what we know about telemetry that it had before it went offline. So definitely check it out. Let me know if there's anything on there you wanna see specifically and we can make that happen. But I also wanna make it kind of a sharing site where we can share all the cool screenshots we saw. Anyone who is there at the event can post photos on there. Uh, it should be a really cool way that we can kind of share this historic moment for Falcon Heavy, Starman, for kind of everything. It's it's really an awesome moment. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I went ahead and scrapped today's video, moved that to a later date, decided to focus on Falcon Heavy because this was an amazing experience. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't at the event. I was here in Colorado, but I will be at a very future one thanks to Tesla. So 
Uh, can't thank you guys enough for using my referral code. It's down in the description at the top of the website if you're looking for a Tesla. But yeah, that's it. Definitely thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Go ahead and click here to subscribe here for some more videos, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Is there life on